Hello, and welcome to another Nick Gay video. More information about RAM has been released, and I'm going to discuss it. Please leave a like and a sub, and I hope you enjoy the video. So here I am on the official Nick Gay Twitter. I'll just read what it says here. It says, Nick Gay Profile RAM, Manufacturer Abnormal, Affiliation Amelia's Faction, Weapon Sniper Rifle. You used to be a prodigy of the demons, where she once possessed immeasurable power, However, this power has vanished after she lost her horn. Let me go ahead and just scroll down here so I can take a look at her image. And again, they didn't actually put the name of her weapon. The name of her weapon is called Demon's Gaze, and she has a sniper rifle unit. I don't know why they didn't put it again at the top there. But uh, we can just go ahead and take a look at the actual unit here. And just like the preview image that we saw way, way back, uh, yeah, she still looks the same here. It actually still looks really lovely as well. Where now we can actually see a little bit more of the bottom portion of her model here. Which pretty much it looks exactly like uh looks very similar to ram you know pretty much wearing the thigh highs and those shiny shoes as well but you know it pretty much a little less booba that's pretty much it but she does look very very lovely um in terms of how she was in the preview image but um let me just go ahead and just keep scrolling down just to actually take a look at her other faces here on the bottom right hand corner but pretty much at the top base has her shown as a pretty much angry face there and it's funny because actually the pupils look a little bit like hard eyes, so it's sort of like a hard, angry face there. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be circular there, but they do they do look a little bit like hearts there. And then also right here in the center, she looks extremely happy to see someone. I'm not sure exactly who, but she's extremely happy to see. And then this last one on the bottom, um, she is looking concerned there. Like, you know, maybe uh, they're asking her a question that they should probably have asked, and now she has to answer that question. Um, yeah, so that's all they got from this image here. But actually, we do have some a little bit more information right here. Let me just go ahead and write to it right now, which is going to be here. So it says, Nikki Profile Ram, the older of the twin maids who work at Roswell Mansion. I'm busy resting right now. So what business do you have with me? Let me just go ahead and scroll down so we can actually go right into the image. And here is her cover pose. This is the cover pose of Ram here. Let me go ahead and just scroll down so I actually see. Um, let's go first take, just take a look at the entirety of this image. And uh, her weapon looks uh, quite interesting to see um, that what I basically see right here. But let me actually go back up and start at the top here. We're pretty much here. Uh, she is actually looking at us, which is quite odd. Since if you guys don't know, actually, a, a couple of the Nikkei's, I think most of the Nikkei's, I think, I don't know if all of them do, but I know most of the Nikkei's, actually, whenever they're reloading, they actually take a look at us. Um, a prime example is Dorothy. Dorothy actually looks at us as soon as she's reloading, and then she goes back to the field. Where I'm actually for here for uh, Ram, uh, she's looking directly into our soul. Like she's all saying, why am I here? And I know other people, especially the haters, pretty much are thinking the same thing as well. But anyways, let me keep going. Let me just go explain right here. We're pretty much, you know, it, she looks very, very lovely. You know, she looks very serious up in the front. And all of that, I mean, obviously we could see her pink hair there. And also with her headband in the top, where pretty much you do happen to see those flowers there. And also with the purple headband to her left hand side. Let me go ahead and scroll down. So we actually talk about the gun here. Uh, the gun is very, very interesting. Um, wow. Okay. First, they just talk about uh, where she's actually holding it right here. So basically holding the position of the gun. And what I'm looking at, how she holds the gun. I mean, yeah, everything looks appropriate. I mean, everything that you would be looking at our sniper rifle there does look appropriate there. And in terms of the actual design of the actual gun, it's pretty much very, very pink and white there. Just exactly how her color scheme is as well. <laughs> where you could see a lot of pink and white stripes there towards the butt of the gun. And also for some reason, it seems like it has another holder there. Um, even though I know she's already holding it to where you're actually supposed to shoot at, but it looks like there's another uh, piece of, like something you can actually hold on this side for some reason, I'm not sure. But I just keep going down a little bit more. We can actually see her aiming reticle there. Um, wow, this aiming reticle actually looks more 3D. Like it's actually either not attached or maybe it's, uh, basically floating there for some reason. I don't really, it doesn't really feel like it's attached to anything. It looks like it's just really floating in place. Besides these two uh, metal brackets that are actually attached to the gun. Yeah, the metal, the center piece is pretty much just, um, looks like it's supposed to be 3D of some sort there. And also as well, there's this huge laser that's sticking out as well. It's a little hard to see. Yeah, there's like this pink laser as well attached to it. And also, um, I'm not sure what this uh, white or silver or gray thing is. I'm not really sure. I mean, it sort of looks metallic and sort of doesn't as well. Um, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Uh, I mean, it's all over the gun. I mean, completely over the gun. And actually, I'm um, now looking at it now. I'm actually looking at the front of the gun. Um, it looks sort of looks like pitchfork. You see pretty much everything um, basically bends and intertwines until it finally goes into like you know, um, it sort of, yeah, sort of reminds me of a pitchfork now that I'm looking at it now. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, yeah, so I can't really comment. I'm, I'm not sure myself. But let me just keep on talking more about the gun here. 
for pretty much the muzzle of it it's all over here at the front where it looks pretty wide i was assuming it was going to be either uh, one of these uh either the pink thing at the top or this brown thing here um that's basically this in between the muzzle and the pink thing yeah i was assuming it's going to be on one of the other two but no it looks like it is going to be coming uh through this uh big portion here which is pretty interesting for a sniper rifle huh hopefully i'm wrong i'm not sure since i don't i, I don't know I don't, I don't really know what to be shooting unless it's something like an air intake or something i don't know yeah i'm not really sure how this weapon works uh since i'm you know looking at this front thing it just looks very very odd and obviously as well you know we can actually see her hand there I'm very very close to the trigger I'm getting ready to go ahead and use it pretty much she's maybe at us and she is looking at us pretty fierce there and also as well i mean she looks like just a standard shooting pose as well you know she does have her one knee um on the floor there with another knee on the side so she could quickly you know she turn to shoot and then go back to cover and yes that's about it in terms of like all the information we got currently on ram here we are waiting on more information to come out soon especially the kits and all of that and all not, not all especially the kits and and also what unit type they are since we don't really know who is going to be the attacker the defender and also support since every collab has at least one of each unit since now that we know that Emilia has a rocket launcher weapon ram has a machine gun and now ram has a sniper rifle um, i'm assuming that Emilia is going to be support since a lot of times the rocket launcher is support i'm not sure exactly who's going to be what since they haven't actually mentioned anything whatsoever but i'm pretty sure everybody can speculate on who's going to be what and as soon as we get more information about these units, I'll go ahead and make a video and give my thoughts on any info that's going to be released. Yeah, I really can't wait for the kits. Um, I know that for the SR, since unfortunately here, Ram is an SR unit, a totally free SR unit. A majority of the time, unfortunately, the SR kits aren't that good. The last SR unit that was for the collab, for example, Pascal. Uh, Pascal was actually a pretty good uh, unit. I mean, it had a lot of burst generation and all that. The healing wasn't that bad for an SR unit. But of course, there was other SSR units in the game that completely did everything that Pascal's did. Pretty much very similar or even way better. So um, so yeah, unfortunately for a lot of SR units, um, it'll be very difficult for them to outperform an SSR unless they like really, really like the unit and shift up did something really special, uh, which would be pretty cool. I mean, hey, a really very powerful SR unit, but unfortunately, a lot of time they're, rele they're relegated to very specific things in the game. And yeah, so the collab is almost coming very, very soon. I mean, pretty much it's in a few days. So hopefully you guys are excited about this collab. You know, e even if you're not going to be pulling on the, any of these collab units, luckily you will be getting some free resources since every collab always gives resources for free. Um, I think Nier is the one that gave more resources for free than Chainsaw Man. And, and I wonder if Free Zero is going to continue that where we're going to get even more free re resources than the other two. I don't know. Only time will tell. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. I'm Scrublord and I'll see you on the next one.